Yovelim Jubilees 39. And Yaakov dwelt in the land of his father's sojournings, in the land of Canaan. These are the generations of Yaakov. And Yosef was 17 years old when they took him down into the land of Mitzrayim. And Potiphar, a eunuch of Pharaoh, the chief cook, bought him. And he set Yosef over all his house. And the blessing of Yahuwah came upon the house of the Mitzri on account of Yosef. And Yahuwah prospered him in all that he did. And the Mitzri committed everything into the hands of Yosef, for he saw that Yahuwah was with him, and that Yahuwah prospered him in all that he did. And Yosef's appearance was comely, and very beautiful was his appearance. And his master's woman lifted up her eyes and saw Yosef, and she loved him and besought him to lie with her. But he did not surrender his soul, and he remembered Yahuwah and the words which Yaakov, his father, used to read from amongst the words of Avraham, that no man should commit fornication with a woman who has a man, that for him the punishment of death has been ordained in the heavens before El Elyon, and the sin will be recorded against him in the eternal Sepharim continually before Yahuwah. And Yosef remembered these words and refused to lie with her. And she besought him for a year. But he refused and would not listen. But she embraced him and held him fast in the house in order to force him to lie with her. And closed the doors of the house and held him fast. But he left his garment in her hands and broke through the door and fled without from her presence. And the woman saw that he would not lie with her, and she bore false witness of him in the presence of his Lord, saying, Your every servant, whom you love, sought to force me, so that he might lie with me. And it came to pass, when I lifted up my voice, that he fled and left his garment in my hands, when I held him. And he broke through the door. And the Mitzri saw the garment of Yosef and the broken door, and heard the words of his woman, and cast Yosef into prison, into the place where the prisoners were kept, whom the king imprisoned. And he was there in the prison, and Yahuwah gave Yosef favor in the sight of the chief of the prison guards, and compassion before him. For he saw that Yahuwah was with him, and that Yahuwah made all that he did to prosper. And he committed all things into his hands, and the chief of the prison guards knew of nothing that was with him. For Yosef did everything, and Yahuwah perfected it. And he remained there two years. And in those days, Pharaoh, king of Mitzrayim, was wroth, rather was wroth, against his two eunuchs, against the chief butler, and against the chief baker. And he put them inward in the house of the chief cook, in the prison where Yosef was kept. And the chief of the prison guards appointed Yosef to serve them, and he served before them. And they both dreamed a dream, the chief butler and the chief baker. And they told it to Yosef. And as he interpreted to them, so it befell them, and Pharaoh restored the chief butler to his office, and the chief baker he slew, as Yosef had interpreted to them. But the chief butler forgot Yosef in the prison, although he had informed him what would befall him, and did not remember to inform Pharaoh how Yosef had told him, for he forgot.'"